some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Houston, Texas, with a soft heart, well, a Moorish American soft heart, anyway, who is pulled over because her plates have been expired since at least 2013. She has no driver's license as well, and she has no insurance. And to cap that all off, she ends up uh, throwing the tickets out the window, and she is cited for littering. So now, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy all the classic Moorish Sovereign Citizen uh, lines that we have come to expect from these idiots. How do you turn this around? Shoot. Okay. License and badge number, please. Sir, license and badge number, please. What's that? It looks like uh, Gillum 37... 3739. Okay, yes, Gillum 37... Uh, what's your emergency, sir? What's my what? Emergency. What's your emergency? The reason I stopped you today is because your uh, your tags, your license plate has been expired since 2013. When um, I run it, it shows to have been ex ex got suspended in 2014. My, That's the reason for the stop. My question was, what's your emergency? Do you have an emergency? Is there a t articulable cause for concern? Why did you pull me over? If there's no emergency. That, that's why it's the it's your suspend your suspended license plate. so you don't have an emergency because i would love to help you if you have an emergency I, I can't hear you i'm sorry i would love to help you if you have an emergency sir yes ma'am it's a traffic stop it's not an emergency and there she goes putting the script in action so ma'am uh a traffic stop is not exactly an emergency but it is a traffic infraction and your uh license plate and uh driver's license have been expired for almost a decade now. I mean, that is reason enough to pull you over, considering you do need to have license, registration, and insurance, which you I know you don't have any insurance as well, because if you didn't have any of those other two, you would quite obviously not have any insurance either. Do you have a driver's license with you? Well, are you making any assumptions or presumptions here today? I can't, I can't hear you still. So. Are you making any assumptions or presumptions here today? Ma'am, I just need to see your driver's license. Well, you're under the assumption that I drive. Am I what? You're under the assumption that I drive. Okay. Do you have a driver's What's your license? articulable articulable reason for for stopping me? Okay. Do you have a driver's license with you today or an ID? I, well, Any form of identification? I don't drive. I travel, sir. Okay, soft hard. So you're not driving, you're traveling, but you are currently in operation of a motor vehicle, which basically means you are driving and forget about all that commerce BS because that doesn't hold up in a court of law. So if you're going to play this little game, I'm just going to go ahead and give you a box of crayons and send you to the kitty table because you don't deserve to eat at the adult tables yet. So go ahead and take that box and uh, sort it out and uh, pick whatever color you want to munch on for a while. What's up, ma'am? I don't drive. I travel. Okay. Do you have a driver's license or? I identity? don't drive. So is do am I do I have to show you any kind of driver's yes, license by law? Yes, ma'am. I have you on camera saying that I by law have to show you a driver's that's license. That's correct. Yes, ma'am. That's that's kind of inaccurate. I am sorry, but that is incorrect. That is an incorrect answer. So you know what? Why don't you go right back over to the kitty table because you haven't still haven't earned the right to come over here with the adults yet. But you do get a consolation prize. It is your favorite flavor of lead paint. Now all you have to do is tell us what your favorite flavor is and we will deliver it right to your door. But be careful with it. Please don't drink it all in one sitting because, well, it might make you dumber than you already are. Right. Can I? Can you call your supervisor? And are you, you familiar? Like and are you? Supervisor? And are you? Are you familiar with the consular notification manual? Am I what? Are you familiar with the consular notification manual? Okay. Well, that is simply the uh, manual for police officers on how to detain and arrest uh, foreign nationals. But it does not apply in your case, considering that you are an American citizen, unless you have uh, 
rejected that uh, birthright of yours. And if you have decided to reject your uh, U.S. citizenship, then please select the country that you would like to be deported to so you can be sent there and you have to deal with their traffic laws after you attempt to go through their citizenship process. But I have a feeling that your new home country wouldn't tolerate the uh, more soft hard thing as well. There's no such thing as a sovereign citizen as an There's no such thing as a sovereign citizen as an oxymoron. We're gonna be uh Katie Freeway service road outbound uh Law of the flags. Ma'am, I have my supervisor on the way, okay? Okay. Once again, will you uh, provide me with your driver's license or any form of identification? Are you making any assumptions or presumptions here okay. today? Okay. You don't have an emergency. Are you aware that it is a federal crime to pull over an individual without an emergency? What's that, ma'am? Are you aware that it is a federal crime to pull over an individual without an emergency? You use your lights and sirens. They're still on. Were you aware of how many dumbass remarks you've already made and therefore uh, you're... Uh, so-called knowledge is not to be trusted. So basically what I'm trying to say here is citation needed. What's that? I'm sorry. Are you aware that it is against the law, it is a federal crime for you to pull someone over using your lights and sirens where there is no emergency? Okay, ma'am. I just need to see your driver's Well, license. I put you on notice that it is a federal crime. My charge for this stop is $10,000. Okay. That's you fine. agree? Ten thousand uh, dollars. Gillum three seven three nine. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> and of course, it would be a sovereign citizen traffic stop if there weren't a fee schedule involved in there somewhere. Though I didn't expect it to be that damn cheap. You said you turn at what street and are you are you on the main lane? I'm sorry, sir. You turn at a very Ashford and we are on the US service road. You'll see us. I can't believe when I need that information, I can't find it. I'm gonna I'm try to look for my documentation. I'm gonna try to look for my documentation in the backseat of the car. I'm not trying to get any weapons. I don't have any weapons. I don't own any weapons. I'm just gonna look in the backseat to see what, if I can what find the documentation I need to give you. I cannot believe. Where the heck could it go? And just so you know, just so you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and wave the flag. I don't know how I'm going to get it to stay there. Let's do it right here. That's good enough for me. Okay, go ahead and display your Moorish flag all you want. It's still not going to help you out of these tickets. That's my flag. American flag. The true American flag. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Were you able to find the document? That no. For? I, think I, need, I think I might have put it underneath the seat, and I can't really grab it right now. It's like a bunch of paperwork. I must have put it in the back seat. I mean, in the trunk. And I can't get out. Hmm. Oh, let me give you this. Let me put it in the camera real quick. What is this? Let me put it in the camera real quick. Give me my oh. property back. Well, I'm, I'll show it to you. Give me my property back really quick, please. Okay. So I can put it in the camera, sir. 
and he won't give my property back. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that uh, worthless piece of plastic that she gave the officer is her more soft hard ID, which of course is her property because you know what? She bought it off some scammer, unlike an actual uh, driver's license, which is not exactly your property. It is the property of the state to help identify yourself and to identify the fact that you are qualified to drive a motor vehicle. Unlike that more soft hard thing, which is uh, quite worthless. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Good morning. Name I'm and Sergeant badge Ham number? With the Houston Police Department. Sergeant Ham? Yes, ma'am. What's your badge How are you number? Doing today? Good. What's your badge number, please? I'm sorry? Badge number? I can't hear you. Your badge number. Okay. Supervisor don't have badge number. It's just Sergeant Ham, ma'am. Okay, Sergeant Ham. Got you. So he took my property, just so you know. Okay. You might want to view that information. Okay, ma'am. Just give me one second. I also have this. This information too. I'm waiting to give them this. I don't know that they need it because I gave them my travel card. I asked them if they were familiar with the consular notification manual. He didn't seem familiar. He didn't even, I, it doesn't even seem like he knew what, he, what, what it was. So we're going to prove this shit again. Because the last time I did this shit, um, I didn't have a camera rolling. I was too nervous, and it worked out just fine. Actually, the cop was trying to get a little aggressive. I noticed that he was reaching for his, his gun, and he said, Oh, no, I'm, this is my taser. I'm like, No, taser looks completely different. I'm telling you right now, you are not reaching for your taser, sir. Do you have any intentions of harming me, harming my property, damaging me, killing me? Do you have any intentions of doing any kind of harm to me whatsoever? And then he got nervous. I asked him to call his supervisor. They also let me go. Yeah, little Miss Moore, Sovereign Citizen, I really doubt your story on that. In fact, I think what happened was that you got a bunch of tickets and you don't want to talk about that in front of your audience. And keep it up because you'll gain enough tickets to the point where they will actually take your car away from you and you will not be able to drive anything ever again. And it's a federal crime. They pulled me over. He ran my information without any crime and, and they have their lights and sirens on. Well, he had the sirens on. I'm gonna take some time to do a little light reading. <laughs> a little light reading. <laughs> While I wait, because clearly, $10,000 doesn't mean anything to them. And this one I'm going to press. A little light reading, huh? Well, I just read the synopsis of that book because I've never heard it of it before, and it sounds like a bunch of sovereign citizen trash. No wonder you become so stupid. In fact, looking at the synopsis of the straw man book, I'm sure it's got a lot of straw man fallacies in it. I mean, I'm sure it must have. Pulled me over and ran my information. You don't even have an emergency. You don't even know if I'm within your jurisdiction. Hello. Two hours later. Okay, Miss, uh, Miss Little's, uh, Amra. you need my citation? What's I'm that? Amra. What's that? Amra. Okay. Okay, ma'am. You're getting one citation? No, uh, I do for... not accept. Okay, that's okay. Uh, I do not accept. You okay. don't have jurisdiction. Not having a valid driver's license, not having proof of financial responsibility, and then your tags being expired. I do not accept. Date, time, and court location all right here. Attach all the pamphlet. There's I a need, website. I need the, the name and badge number of all the individuals here. This that's is gonna, a Sergeant This is going to cost you 10000 each uh, of you. Officer Salee, no, I asked for Salee, name and badge number. And, uh, Matthew McMurtry. Three, two, 8728 three, two, Sally S A L L. Would you like to sign in the yellow box? This is not a plea of guilt. You're saying you're going to show up for court. Absolutely not. I do okay, not no consent. Problem. Okay. Have a safe day, ma'am. No, I don't want it. Do you want your card? I do now? not consent. I'll, I'll write down whatever you need. Give me my card. Give me my card. I need my property. I will write down whatever you I'm need. So, I can't hear you. You can hear me just fine. I cannot hear you. Well, There's I believe that you can. Just speak up a little bit. I can't I hear you. I believe that you can. I well, I don't, I don't want to raise my voice or yell because you might try to say that I'm trying to be combative. I'm not trying to be combative. Can I have my property, please? Okay. You're also getting a citation. If you, no, I do not listen consent. If, you do not have jurisdiction. Hold on. Just listen real quick. If I do you not consent. If you throw the citation on the ground and you litter, you will be going to jail. No, I will not. Do you don't okay. have jurisdiction. Right, I am Amra. Oh, I do not consent. No, we're not doing that. Please do not do that, sir. Do not. You cannot force me to contract with you. You cannot force me. Have a great day, man. You cannot force me day. to contract with you. I, no. 
I, I do not consent. I do not consent. I do not consent. You do not have jurisdiction. Okay. All right, ma'am. Have a great day. You're also getting a ticket for littering. You don't want this? I do not consent. You do not have any consent over my over my situation. Okay. You do not have jurisdiction. This is the card. They can act like they don't know, but they know. Especially the so-called supervisor. And I forgot to ask the supervisor if he's familiar with the consular notification manual. And that's what I'm about to ask them when they come back. We're gonna get the consular in, uh, a part of this this conversation. All right, ma'am, that's for you. Absolutely if, if you not. Are, you Absolutely not. Are you familiar with the consular notification manual, ma'am? Are you familiar okay. with right. the consular you notification manual? Your citation. You it's gonna cost you ten thousand dollars for this now. stop. Ten thousand dollars, sir, for this stop. It's away. Just like I told you, you don't you don't take no contracts. You cannot be forced into contracts. Lying ass bitches try to force me. Stupid fuckers think they can trick me. They trick me. I already know this shit works. Can you tell me? And that's how you do it. Handle what? All you did was throw a temper tantrum and uh, get yourself another ticket. I'm sure if you had missed your court date, they would have issued you a warrant and sent somebody after you. In fact, I wish I had more information on what happened to your particular case because I would love to see where this went. But seeing as how I can't find too much information on her as it is, she might not have been entirely successful in uh, fighting the whole issue. But who knows, maybe one day we'll see her on some court cam one day and just uh, laugh at her. In the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.